morning guys good morning and welcome back to my channel it's been a minute guys hold on see the weather is so foggy i wasn't expecting this guys we have a gist So guys, before anything, let me just do a quick check on my car and just get my stuff ready. <laughs> welcome or welcome back i don't know why this weather really affects the camera quality of the video anyhow it's been a long minute and yes i've been away for a while i've been doing some things at the background but today's vlog is gonna be a vlog of an interview for my dream job here in the uk don't mind my hair i've got my wig i've got my my blazer i've got my sandals I've got like my makeup kit, everything I need for this interview. I'm going to be driving because of the traffic. It's going to take me like an hour and 30, no, an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So I have to leave early. The interview is for 10 o'clock and it's now um, 10 past 8. So I'm hoping to get there at half past 9. It gives me 30 minutes grace to, you know, catch up and, you know, one thing I almost forgot, I almost forgot my tablet. Give me one sec, let me get my tablet because that's where I've got all my my points and my bulletins. Alright, I got it. I'm just buying like extra five minutes because I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, let me do a quick check. So I've taken my qualifications, my paperwork, uh, my passport, BRP my hair my makeup blazer i don't think i've forgotten anything anyways let's go guys so when i get there for that 30 minutes before i go in i'll just you know do the vlog i want this vlog to be genuine <laughs> i don't want to like you know whether the interview comes out positive or negative i am still going to post this video i'm going to also talk about the questions that have been asked how I went about the interview. This is not the first interview I'm doing actually for this kind of job. This is the second one. So this one I'm a bit more relaxed. The first one I didn't vlog is because I was a bit nervous. But this one I feel like I'm a bit more relaxed. I know what I'm going to do. And so, yes, wish me luck. But anyways, as I said, we'll talk after the interview. I just don't want to talk too much, okay? So I'm gonna start driving. I'm not gonna film that process. But when I get there, we're gonna talk guys hi i just got here it's very very early um i'm here i think it's 20 past nine and i've been having my breakfast <laughs> you know while i was driving there was so much traffic so much traffic and um
guys my curls are coming out oh. yeah so it took me about um it took me about an hour and 10 minutes to get here so it's now 20 past nine and i've still got 40 minutes i've still got 40 minutes to go in i'm going to use this opportunity to do a light makeup very very light makeup i am not actually a fan of heavy makeup and i mean this is not the occasion to to do too much you know <laughs> this is not the occasion to do too much here we are here to stand on business so something very light to go with the occasion and yep yeah, just gonna read a couple of things one or two things you know so this interview actually was in stages it was in stages stage one stage it was in stages so that um the pre-screen stage one and stage two so this is the stage two i've i've come for um the pre-screen and the stage one were all done via the phone so the pre-screen was just um calling me to ask me questions about myself not into details though but like um how long have you been in the uk um you know would you need sponsorship so it's at that time that i told them that i will need sponsorship and they confirmed that it's something that they can offer so it gave me the green light that was clarified from the pre-screen we, we clarified that our need sponsorship and it's something that they can offer because even though we don't we won't waste time because we are both standing on business you need me i need you let's just get it sorted so yeah they confirmed that they could give me um you know the sponsorship which i also wanted then we moved on to the part one so the part one was just basically asking me about my relevant skills and qualifications when i completed school um you know like uh, how i have been progressing career wise my current role what i am doing because usually they want somebody who is in a similar role or who has relevant experience in the same field so this is just to confirm all of those um, also to ask you some basic questions you know about your skills that you have talked about so if you talk about let's say a strange driver they're gonna ask you how, like how you change a strange driver and all that um, they're also gonna ask you some questions about leadership because this is like a management this is a management role so they want to be sure that you have some knowledge about you know leading and managing people um, then they ask you about any criminal convictions whether you have like a good DBS or whether you have any criminal convictions that they should be aware of they also check your NMC pin so they will either ask you for your pin number and check it online or they'll verbally ask you whether you've got a valid NMC pin if you verbally confirm and they're happy with that fine otherwise they'll ask you to send it over for them to check after they are satisfied with this that you've got a good DBS oh sorry also they'll ask you if you are a car driver because for such positions they want somebody who drives and who is not just a car driver but a car owner so you should be a driver of the car and you should own it or you should have access like 24 7 access to a vehicle because you can be called out of hours if there is an emergency cover in the home you can be called let's say if one of the nurses was not in or has called sick and there is no person to you know like kind of take over you are going to be called okay so they want to be sure that you've got a vehicle you've got a valid license and you have access to a vehicle basically whether you own it or not you should have 24 um 24 7 access to the vehicle so they confirm all of that in the first phase of the interview then they ask you when you are available for interview or they will tell you when they want to schedule the interview and you see if it's something that fits your schedule so yeah as i said the interview was supposed to have happened long time ago but because you know there was no time um 
for the acquisition of the property didn't fall through on time that is why we are now doing it today so yeah i'm here when i was leaving the house i wasn't nervous i wasn't nervous i was very well relaxed but now i feel like i'm a bit nervous i feel like oh my god i'm a bit nervous um the first interview i don't know because everything like happened in a rush i prepared very intensely but this one i haven't really prepared i feel like it's because i did so well in the first interview is that same i don't know i don't know but there's just something that is keeping me so you know um so yeah for today my scent is going to be blossom from jimmy cho and so my sense for today is going to be blossom from jimmy cho and bombshell seduction from victoria secret i just love to mix scents um yeah so that i just don't know what i have sprayed but not too much because i don't know if there is an asthmatic there something very very you know very light so yeah um at this point i would like to get off just have a look at some of the questions i have prepared i also have questions that i want to ask them i can't go in with the phone to record anything so when i come back i'll just talk about some of the questions they ask and give you feedback whether it was positive or negative we'll definitely talk about it so wish me luck as i said whether this interview goes well or not i am still going to post this video and just tell some of the questions that they asked and i'll see you guys when i come back all right guys so the interview has just finished it's 10 45 a.m so this interview lasted for for 45 minutes i think my first interview was quite intense uh, more than this one but this one the questions they asked um they just asked one clinical question like if you've seen a bruise on your resident what are you going to do how are you going to approach it and how do you prevent reoccurrence so that was the only clinical question they asked every other question was management questions how are you going to manage like a group of people who are resistant to change how are you going to uh, lead a team of people with different backgrounds um if an incident happened how are you going to handle it how are you going to handle complaint management because basically that's what I, i'm going to be doing so all in all it was more of um, management and leadership questions which i'll put up let me know in the comment section if you want me to put up like questions from this particular interview and the other one i did like the questions they asked because that other one i did they asked lots of questions lots of questions cutting across clinical care uh, the one question that they asked that um i wasn't able to answer is that have you ever had to take um a decision that was um like a, like an abrupt decision i haven't done anything like that before so i wasn't able to answer that and they asked um if you've ever had any misunderstanding if you've ever had a misunderstanding with a colleague how did you solve that um how do you keep up to date how do you work under pressure because this job or this role is a role that is very intense so how do you manage your workload how do you work under pressure um you know yeah, basically that was that and infection prevention yes as you are going to be in, in charge of infection prevention like how do you want to you know bring on board to control infection in the home so basically these were some of the questions that they asked you the other one was very very intense than this one um not too positive i don't know why but i'm just not too positive about this but they said i'm gonna hear from them unlike the other one where i had the job the same time the same time i finished the interview i had the job that same day that same minute i was standing there i was able to know whether i had a job or not they gave me the job like instantly on the site so i'm a bit wary i don't really know i don't really know i don't know what to do but this particular home is um it's a bigger home but their nursing residents are lesser they've got only 32 nursing residents the other home has 52 resident nursing so that one is a bigger home than this although the size of this home the structure of this home is bigger but their nursing residents are little the salary here is more 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 than that one so i don't know if i happen to get this one 
um, I will just change the visa from that one to this one without even starting working there but they understand that I will need sponsorship and it's not something that is going to happen like so fast because the company is still in the acquisition phase so yeah that is it I think I'll end this vlog here wish me luck I'll try and post this video before the results come because I want to be as authentic as possible so I'll post this video before I get the results of the interview but thank you guys so much for watching um, this is just a little bit of updates of what has been happening in the background and yes thank you so much for watching until we meet again in my next video it's bye